Good afternoon, everybody, and uh, thank you, Ira. That was a very interesting presentation. So we'll speak about GEM. Um, it produces similar diamonds to uh, uh, what Lucara does, high, high value, high quality diamonds. And so I think that was probably the reason why we were placed one after the other. Again, the disclaimer, um, important that you have a look at that, but um, we don't have enough time to run through the details of that. So quick overview of GEM. Um, we listed on the London Stock Exchange on the main board. Uh, and uh, type two diamonds, you may know, these are the most valuable diamonds um, in the industry. Uh, and that's the main, main supplier of our revenues and profits. We mine the Letseng uh, mine, which is in Lesotho. Uh, it's uh, extraordinarily high up mine, 3,000 meters up. And so those are some of the challenges that we have to cope with cold, wind, um, and uh, uh, getting all of the kit, the fuel, uh, people, food up there. Um, we own 70% of this asset. Our partner is the government. Um, there's no BEE uh, in Lesotho, but nevertheless, the state has always had an interest here, um, and they're our partner. Um, uh, Ira put up the slide about the dollar per carat, and you would have seen the difference between the Lucara dollar per carat, our dollar per carat, and everybody else in the industry. You're talking about other uh, mining companies being of the $100 a carat uh, on average um, producers, and, and we're up in the 2000 uh, range. We don't, uh, we sell traditionally unlike uh, Clara, but our uh, marketing platform is based in Antwerp. We also show the diamonds in Tel Aviv. Our diamonds are better suited to those markets, the Antwerp um, and the Tel Aviv market than they are to uh, the Indian markets. Um, and so that's really how we do it. It's a plat it's a tender system. Uh, it's a, a very competitive uh, scenario, um, electronic uh, bids. Um, we've matched, we traditionally we used to sell uh, 10 times a year, but we've now split that up four in the first half and four in the second half. We're a December calendar year company and therefore it just works that much better for analysts and, uh, and, the, and the split of revenues. A lot has been spoken about innovation and technology in the mining industry, and we too um, subscribe to that. Uh, and uh, we really have, over many, many years, tried to solve what I suppose is the holy grail for, for diamond producers, and that is how to extract a diamond out of the ore in such a way that you don't damage the diamond. Of course, existing technologies of crushing DMS, etc., are well suited for things like uh, iron ore, whether it's uh, gold, platinum, because you reconstitute the metal subsequently. Um, but in diamonds, of course, once a diamond is broken, its value is significantly destroyed, and so we have to watch out for that. Here's a quick uh, five-year snapshot of our metrics. Um, you will see our revenues are coming down. Fortunately, that's turned around. Same with the EBITDA and our EPS um, flows from that. Uh, we're in a a closed period and therefore there's no numbers attached but um, it's the trend really that I'm trying to highlight for you. Uh, we, we, we've had a good year. And what is it that is our strategy and our key priorities? Well obviously extracting maximum value from our operations. We have gone through quite a, a long period of searching for efficiencies, trying to cut any excess uh, costs and really optimize what it is that we've been doing. And I'm happy to say that really has um, delivered. Uh, we're moving through that process now. The challenge is gonna be um, sustainability. And, uh, and obviously that's something that is now uh, receiving a lot of attention and it's embedded in our, in our operation. To survive in the mining industry, particularly in small countries and, and, and African countries in particular, I think you're your social license, your license to operate is a very, very important thing. We, in GEM, as, as, as many companies do, but we particularly take this uh, very seriously. I'm happy to say that our record in this regard is, is good. Um, we, we haven't had any major 
incidents, uh, either on a, on a health and safety point of view, uh, uh, but mainly from our relationships with the communities and our, our host nation. And then, of course, it's the preparing for the future. Um, minds get deeper. We, too, are moving towards a, a, a time period where our open pit, which uh, finishes at in current economics in, in the year 2032, uh, we will need to then transition to the underground. And of course, you need approximately 10 years prior to that before you start the first work in that. We've got a pretty good idea, um, but that is some way off. But uh, in, in looking to the future, that is, is vital. Our lease, our current lease uh, expires uh, in six years' time. And so we have been hard at work at extending that lease. I'm happy to say things have gone well. Uh, it's no secret that um, the African Mining Vision and other initiatives are, are set up in a way to encourage host countries to squeeze uh, mining companies, and we've seen that Tanzania is an excellent example. Um, fortunately, that uh, our relationship in, in Lesotho is such that that hasn't been prevalent to date, um, and we hope to announce the terms of this uh, quite soon. As far as uh, growth opportunities are concerned, m and that of course is always on every mining company's uh, desk and one assesses it, but I think you know, there hasn't been huge success in many cases and therefore uh, we, we adopt a, a pretty uh, conservative view with respect to this and are focused on our, our own backyard. The diamond market, I think it's fair to say, has split into, into two markets. Uh, there is the, the bottom end, call it the $100 per carat goods, and those goods have been under pressure for a long time. And you will have seen many of those companies have um, unfortunately been the recipient of poor prices, um, and their share prices have, have, have suffered as a result of that. At the top end of the market, uh, the sort of diamonds which we produce, the sort of diamonds which Lucara produce, I'm happy to say those prices have been robust, and, uh, and we've uh, benefited from that. Um, that you can pick up at your uh, let's sing it's a 5 million carat resource operation with about 10 billion dollars of diamonds in the ground um, we are fortunate it's, it's quite strange but we're fortunate to have two kimberlite uh, pipes uh, next to each other um, we, we, we have three plants and therefore we have a measure of flexibility to move production between and to mine from the from the different plants. So it's, an, it's a very interesting um, ore body. Uh, processing, um, are about 7.5 million tons in total, 6.6 .6 through our plants. Uh, and uh, last year was an excellent year in terms of large diamond recovery. Um, on the HSSC side, uh, uh, we, our record is good. We're proud of it and, uh, and we stick to that and keep, keep doing our best there. Uh, I'd like to draw your attention bottom left hand side that's a profile of waste tons mined and of course um, not revenue earners and waste uh, and I'm happy to say that we've managed to get the increasing tonnage there under control and for the foreseeable future it's of that order of magnitude 26 25 million tons a year so that introduces a, a, a very stable uh, uh, metric there. There are, that's a 12 month rolling average dollar per carat. Um, there is obviously variation when you're recovering uh, 900 um, carat diamonds and things like that. There are variations if you look at it on a month to month basis and therefore I think this is a useful way of looking at the um, average dollar per carat. As we are sitting here, we're busy selling diamonds on the bottom right hand side there are two beautiful diamonds which are currently in the market and uh, we anticipate uh, very good um, results from that large diamonds are our business and therefore we put this table out um, if you look at the far right hand side under the 2018 column um, you know 257 diamonds greater than 20 carats important and most of those um, those d colors are top top uh, price earners um, always nice to look at beautiful diamonds. 
in the middle of the 910 character, really beautiful stone. Um, but you will see uh, all of those stones have some measure of, um, of damage to them. And then just on the business transformation, I talked about that. That was um, cutting costs, and that's been um, a great result. So thank you for listening to our story. Um, and uh, as, as Ira said, we think uh, that the large end of the diamonds is the place that you really would like to be.